problems from the bi-weekly contest from lead code bi-weekly contest 30 we can discuss the first three problems in this video and then the last question is sort of of dp and game theory so we'll discuss this in another lecture so let's start the first three questions the first question statement states that you have to reformat the date the date is given in this format as you can see 20th october 2052 and you have output in this form in which you have to first output the year then if it's october you have to represent it it in the what is the index or what's the number of this month and then the date itself okay so you have to remove this you have to remove this space with this dash and so on so what you can here did is you can first take out these this date this month and this year separately store them in different strings and then the, the in the output string the first is just the year then according to the uh, you can store this set of like this months and then see what is the index of this particular month and store that convert that number into the represent representative uh, like month number and then because the date is consisting of the last two characters is th you can pop out these two characters and then output just the number itself but there is one uh, thing as you can see uh, in this sixth in this sixth as you can see there is no zero so you have to check that whether if it is a single digit number you have to in like insert a zero at the start same it's for june june is like six if you go from the indexing it's just six but you want to insert a zero ahead of this so i take you directly to the code so you can first parse out the date the, the date month and year uh, I have first inserted a space at the back because every space is uh, like separating everything which is date, month and year. So I have first pushed back a space in the end such that I can iterate over from the start till the end. And whenever I encountered a space I break out till then I uh, like push back the date for month and the year. Okay, so that's why I have uh, like pass out all the date, month and year. And then I pop out from the date last two characters because it is th. Now the string consisting of the first is the year. So I first inserted year. Then I inserted a dash. And then I make this string of all the months. Then I iterate over all the months. And then I check the month which I have passed out which is in m. Whenever m is equal to m of i. We have to make this to string. So I use this to string function to convert this into the represented string okay but if the string length is one then i have to insert a zero in the start so let's assume it's just june so it will convert it to six but i have to insert zero six so we will insert a zero in the start only if the length of this is one if it's ten we don't have to insert zero it will become like zero one zero so it's not true but we have to insert like it's nine then we have to make it zero nine then we will insert this month in the answer and we break out then we insert another dash and then we will do same for the date in the end if it's date size is one we will insert a zero at the start and then insert the date and then we just output the answer so that's the simple question for first the second question statement states that you have to find out the range sum of the sorted sub array sums so you are given an array and you have to take every sub array and then after for, for every sub array sum what you have to do you have to find out every sub array sum then sort out all the sub array sums and then you have to do a summation from this index to this index so like these are the sub, sub array sums as you can see it is just 1 then 1 plus 2 it is 3 and 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 1 plus 2 it's like 10 and 2 plus 3 is equal to 6 and so on so what you'll do for all the sub arrays you, you will sort them and after sorting them you have to take from the index like 1 to index 5 take all the summations and you shall output the summation so that's a simple question as you can see the length is very small so you can just iterate over all possible uh, like sub arrays find out their sums sort them and just print down print the answer because it's very small and because the sum can exceed very large value so you have to just output with modulus 10 to power 9 plus 7 because like it's also very simple you just have to find out the sum like sub array sums so for every i starting at the sub array starting at i equal to 0 you will iterate from i equal to 1 till n and find out the total so I can show you how. So let's assume that you have the sub array which is like equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you will take the sub array starts from 1. So you will 
do a summation for 1, then 1 plus 2, 3, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6, and so on. Now the i will become come to here, and then you take the subarray sum like 2, then 3, then 5, then the subarray start from 3, then the subarrays will be 3 and 4, and so on. So that's the whole logic. You will count the total subarrays and push it in the sum vector, which is long long. Then you will sort this, and the total is just you have to find out the total, which is just iterate over all the values from left to right, and just do a summation of them. You and do a mod list because you have to because this can overshoot uh, the value, so you have to do a mod. Just add in to in this OK value and just return OK. Cool. That the last question is you have to find out the minimum difference between the largest and the smallest value in three moves. So you are given a nums array and you are allowed to choose one element okay nums and change it to any value you want in one move so you can take this nums vary and you can convert any of the numbers to any of the new numbers if you want you have to find out or return the minimum difference between the largest and the smallest value in the nums so if this is nums array you have to find out the smallest and the largest value you have to find the smallest and the largest value after this operation so you can perform at most three moves you can perform three moves you can choose any three numbers convert them into whatever number you want and then after these operations you have to find out the minimum difference between the largest and the smallest number okay i'll tell you with this example so because we're just talking about the smallest and the largest number what you can easily do here is okay just wait You can take this number and you will take this array and then you can first sort this. So after sorting, you can easily know what is the maximum and the minimum numbers. So as you can see, if you sort them, it will become like this. It is 0, 1, 5. So it will like 0, 1, 5, 10, 14. So that's the whole array after sorting. Now you can do at most three changes. So what you'll do, I'll put some spacing here. So as you can see, uh, like I have also put a, yeah. So as you can see, this, these are the numbers 0, 1, 5, 10, 14. Okay. So now because you have to, you can do at most three changes, like you can change, let's assume you don't change the largest number. You can change like these smallest numbers because they are sorted my main aim is to bring them as close as possible and because this number which is which is just close because as we go from like from this number to this number the difference between the, these numbers are getting smaller okay the, these numbers sorry these numbers are getting bigger and the difference between these numbers will, will be getting smaller okay because they are like these are increasing numbers so what I can actually do here is you can also understand this with this example also because there are four numbers I can change these numbers if I sort them it will become like two, two, three, four, five, and I can make this 4, 5 and 3 to 2 and then the difference between the smallest and the greatest number is just 0 so what I have actually done here is we have taken the smallest and the largest number and we will do the same here we will talk about the smallest and the largest number if I can change like these all numbers to 10 okay because if I change something to 10 like this will be the smallest numbers like if I change them to 100 then this will go back there okay so then what will its beneficial is I can change everything to 10 and this is 14 so the, the difference I'll get is 4 okay now the, the other thing can be what the other thing I can do here is I can just take these two numbers if I just take two the, these two numbers then I can make everything equal to 5 I can make them equal to 5 because if I make them equal to 5 then what I'm actually doing here is I'm increasing the value of this and I can make this equal to like closest to this number because these numbers are closest to each other if I make them equal to 10 if I make this equal to 10 this is equal to 5 the number will become the difference between is actually 5 
so why this is happening is because i'm stretching the numbers which is the smallest and the greatest towards each other and when we want to stretch these numbers towards each other what we can do here is we, if we bring these number close to these numbers then it will get stretched to the middle and so what i am doing actually here is i have different cases i can take all three numbers from the back convert it to this number and taking nothing from this last number because i have used all these three numbers and thus the difference is just this number subtract from this number otherwise i can take these two numbers and this number i will change this number to this number and i will change these two numbers to this number else i will take this one number from the back and two numbers from start or else no number from the back and three numbers from the start okay if there are four numbers or less than four numbers as you can see the answer is always zero because i will always change all the three numbers to this other number and the answer will be just zero so it we will do only these things for when the answer is greater than or equal to four greater than or equal uh, like uh, greater than or equal to five so that is the whole trick i will tell you how you will first sort the whole nums and if n is less than or equal to four the answer is just zero and uh, we have to find out the minimum minimum is just what i have told you we will take n minus like nums of n minus 1 minus nums of 3 so what i have actually done here is so let's assume that i have taken uh, this like n minus 1 the last number so i i can take the last number i can take the last number which means i am not i am just changing all these three numbers if i am changing all these three numbers to 10 then the subtraction is between this is the index 0 1 2 3 so the the third index minus the last index value then i will take the second last index value and like this value because i am choosing the first two numbers i will change them to this number so i will take this index which is 2 and i will take the second last value because i am changing the all the numbers to this value because these numbers are the closest So that's the whole logic. There are four cases. So minimum is just the minimum of, of this case. If I am taking just the last value, second last value, third last value, and so on, and we are just printing on the minimum. I hope you understand all the three logics. The next video consists of the last question. If you still have any doubts, please mention down. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next one. Keep coding. Bye.